Hi guys, good morning. <clears throat> Hope you're all okay, happy Sunday. Very good morning, it's um, raining again, miserable weather, um, but staying inside, we're gonna make some wire wrapped rings today. So nice bit of bling. Hopefully give you some sparkle on a dull day. Um, got quite a few of you joining us already, lovely, so we know we're live. Um, so I'm gonna be using the, morning Linda, I'm gonna be using the Colour Remain wire today. I've put the link to them, morning Maxine, I've put the link to them in the description of the video. Um, so it's a 0.4 millimeter wire that I'm gonna be using. So it's nice and soft, so I know a lot of you are new to wire work. Um, we made, the pendant on Friday, was it? Yeah, Kitty was with you yesterday uh, doing the lovely Rivoli bracelets. I was making the wire wrapped pendants on Friday. So we're gonna use the same wire today and we're gonna make some nice simple rings. Um, good morning, Diana. Hi, Joanne. Morning, Paula. Hi, Lynn, Natalie and Tida. Morning, Camille. Bit chilly this morning. Yeah, it is here. I actually put the heating on yesterday. Um, it was really miserable. Um, we had a gorgeous day yesterday, even though it was raining. John had a busy day in the garden. He was building the dog kennels um, and my parents drove up to have a socially distant uh, visit. So we were in the garden until it started pouring down with rain and then we sat in the conservatory at opposite ends of the table. Um, but it's the first time that they've been up here for 11 weeks. So that was really lovely. That was um, a really nice day yesterday. Um, good morning, Joe. Hi, Judith, Gemma, Alison, and lovely. Got lots and lots of you. Okay, so wire wrapped ring. So as we said, we were making the wire wrapped pendants on Friday with the Everbloom Capuchons. I think a lot of you realized how easy, oh, Anne, a little bit late as you're making banana bread. Oh, I bet your house smells amazing. Do you know, loads of people have been making banana bread during lockdown. I haven't done any. Um, I think it's become the lockdown food, hasn't it? And staple for everyone using up their bananas. Lovely. Um, yes, so we made the wire wrap pendants. I think a lot of you realized just how easy wire work can actually be. A lot of the time it puts you off. Um, good morning, Margaret. Hi, Jenny, Christine, Bethany. I'm seeing some new names here as well. So if you are just joining us for the first time, we have had hundreds of you watching some of the videos. Um, good morning, Anne, two Annes. Hi, good morning. Um, you're in Washington, Anne. Amazing. We've gone international. Um, we've had quite a few people watching. Uh, where did we have? We had a lady in Cape Town. We've had some in Malta. Today we've got Washington. So hi. Um, yeah, if you're just watching for the first time, say hello. Let us know whether you are beading or maybe you found us by mistake. Um, we're so grateful because a lot of you have been watching and sharing the videos. Um, and I think new people have come into jewellery making because of it. So we've been doing these every day at 10 o'clock for about the last so what are we now we're a Sunday so I've been saying 11 weeks for about a week and a half so probably up to 12 weeks now um, so lots of techniques I mean there must be hundreds on there um, and we keep them all in our um, library on the Facebook page so you can have a look so I know by a lot of you sharing and adding your friends in um, we've actually um, found some new customers and we're, and we're getting some people making jewellery for the first time which is really lovely so say hi if you're just joining us um, I will actually try to answer as many questions while I'm live but obviously a lot of the time we get engrossed in the make so I do have Kitty on here as well so she will be able to answer any of your questions if I miss any um so yeah give us a give us a little hello um and of course do share the video by sharing the video not only will you obviously reach other people that perhaps haven't found our page before but it will be on your home page so if there is a technique that you really love and you want to kind of bookmark it so you can find it um for when your materials come by sharing it it will be on your own page as well um but there is also a saved section so you can um once i've uploaded it there um, you'll be able to save it and then that will be in your videos as well so it saves you scrolling through what we have also done is on the totally beads website we now have an entire category for the facebook projects for facebook tutorials it's called um, and if you go on there you'll be able to look through all the bundles so we do have some bundles today now the color remain wire so it's the same one i was using on friday so if you've got your ones on friday you'll be able to do these when they come as well i've got a few other colors here as well my silver one's a bit 
unruly because I've been using it. Um, the colour Remain isn't going to tarnish. It's, I mean, obviously this is costume jewellery. So things like washing your hands if you're using a lot of your anti back at the moment and stuff. Just remove your jewellery um, before you do that so that it stays dry. But they are colour Remain. So it's a super great quality and they are protected. So it's ideal for this kind of project. Um, we also have some amazing bead bundles. So when I turn you down onto the bead mat, we will have a little look. So, um, hi, good morning, Sharon, just joined you. Lovely to have you. Hi, Linda, Dorothy, Maxine, Debbie, lovely. Um, Camille's still on here. Good morning, Doris. Hi, Natalie, Lucy, Anne. A bit late, but opening my birthday presents, including kits from Totally Beads. Anne, happy birthday. We've had quite a few people on here on their birthdays. What a nice little treat for us as well as, as you, hopefully. Hopefully you like wire-wrapped rings. Morning, Maria from Malta. Ah, oh, Washington in Tynham Weir near Newcastle. <laughs> okay, so not Washington in the States. Not quite international, um, but you are quite a way up. <laughs> Oh, and that's funny. You got me. Well done. Um, amazing. Okay, so I'm going to turn you guys down. We'll get making the lovely rings. Um, Hazel, I can't even pronounce where you are from. And I'm not even going to try because it will probably be very insulting. But good morning. <laughs> it sounds interesting. Sounds Welsh or Irish, perhaps. Let me know where you are. Um, do you know if you'll be getting some more flat elastic? Sophia, I'm not sure. I've got Kitty and Simon on here. Um, oh, Teresa is in the USA. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Um, lovely. Um, I'm not sure about the flat elastic, but I will let Kitty or Simon answer that for you. Good morning, Rachel. Amazing. Okay, so I'm going to turn you down. So we do have some people in the States, as well as up in Newcastle. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, so... We are going to use some amazing round crystals today. Have a look at these. Oh, firstly, I should probably show you the ring. Um, so I've made one in the um, rose gold. So this is the ring that we're going to be making. Um, so lovely little wire wrap. And I've done it in a few different colours. So we've got the rose gold. I've used the silver. Um, this is actually using the darker crystals, which I think I'll use today as well. Um, so the bundles that we have, um, you actually get 10 strands. Now these are normally £15. They're down to 9 99 on the website today. So that is under a pound. Oh, okay. Hazel says Welsh and it's Blinacoid? Is that right? I mean, when you spell it phonetically, it doesn't look anything like what it came up as. I hope I said it okay. Um, so these are the beads that I'm using. So it's under a pound a strand, which is fantastic. And you can see you have so many beads on here. I'm only using five in my ring. So um, out of a strand, which obviously will cost you less than a pound today as well. Oh, Ronnie says, brilliant. She's already got the crystals. Amazing. Hopefully you can bead along with me. Um, because I'm only using five of them, and I think these have 120 crystals on them. Kitty will be able to confirm that for me. I've used five in mine, but a lot of the time you can do three or even just one. I would recommend you stick to odd numbers because it always gives you that center point as well, which is really lovely. Oh, have we got another birthday? Happy birthday, Dorothy. Oh, thanks for joining us, ladies, on your special day. I will dedicate these rings to you. If we get time, we'll make two, but I'm not sure because it is a little bit of an involved make when I'm wrapping them. So we'll make one today for Dorothy and one for Anne. Happy birthday, ladies. Um, Kitty is telling me there are 100 crystals on the strand. So um, it means you're getting a 1,000 crystals. That is phenomenal. Now, the wire that I'm using, you get eight metres on the spool. And I'm probably going to use probably about a metre and a half to make our rings, which actually means, and I costed it out a moment ago, that this ring cost me about... 50 pence to make, which I think is just amazing value for money. So if you are gifting, you want to make some special little gifts, or of course you sell your pieces, then um, this is the way to do it. Okay, so let's make one in silver, I think, because I've made, I actually made this one to fit my mum. My mum always gives me, she's got a beautiful ring collection. Um, and unfortunately, because of her arthritis, 
a lot of the time her hands really swell up. So a lot of her really good rings don't fit her. So this was actually her. She was given this on her 21st um, and it just doesn't fit her anymore. So I've got it. So I thought she's always giving me rings. I'm going to make her one. So I made this silver one a little bit larger so that it does fit mum. I'm going to make myself one as well. Okay, so I'm going to take about 20 centimetres uh, of my wire and I'm going to cut three strands. Is my screen a little bit blurry? Hold on one second, guys. I'm just going to give this a little wipe. And then hopefully that will focus in. I'm not sure if it's... I think that's better. It might be my eyes. <laughs> I'm really suffering with hay fever at the moment. Um, and my eyes have been watering so much. But hopefully you've got a nice clear view. Okay, so I've cut three lengths of my wire. And I'm going to cut one probably about half a metre and I'm going to use this one to wrap around so just like we did with our pendants when we were doing them on Friday I'm actually going to use three together and this will give me a nice band but because we're only using a 0.4 millimeter wire so it is thin I'm actually going to reinforce it by wrapping it just like we did around the bale of our pendant let me grab one of those so I can remind you so if you missed Fridays we wrapped the top of the bale and also the bottom of our pendants because it will reinforce this wire so I've taken my three strands in the middle I'm going to take my longer strand which is about half a meter and I've kept a little tail I'm also keeping enough up here to wrap my beads on afterwards and I'm just holding onto that tail, holding all three strands together and we're going to get a nice tight, neat wrap on these coils. And what this will do, rather than working with a thicker gauged wire to begin with, which is a little bit harder if you're not used to working with wire. So a lot of the time ring bases would even be made out of a one mil wire. Um, but if you're not used to working with it, it can be a little bit tricky to handle. It can be a little bit more rigid and harder for you to get to grips with. So I would recommend starting with softer wires. And this is how we're going to reinforce it to make it stronger. So to get all of these really nice coils, what I'm doing, and you can see that they wrap really beautifully. And Evan should know better. He just started ringing me. Um, what I'm going to do is start creating these really nice tight wrapped coils. You get nothing but professionalism with me, don't you? If it's not him burning the toast, he's ringing me. It's the dogs barking. It's the deliveries. But this is what we get for just doing lives at home, eh? I'm sure we're all in the same boat. We've all got a lot going on. Okay, so really nice, tight, neat coils like so. What I'm doing is holding it in my left hand, which obviously isn't my dominant hand. So this is just going to be my grip in between my index finger and my thumb. And what I'm doing is using my thumb to push down the wire towards the coils. As I'm bringing it round, I'll use my index finger just to make sure. So my thumb is making sure it stays in nice and tight on this side. As I wrap over the top, my index finger is pushing it down and in. So it's just that really nice little guidance for the wire all the way around. And what I'm actually doing is using the rest of my fingers to kind of pull the wire and keep it tight. So it does take a little bit of while to get used to, um, but once you get into the groove of it and you have these coils overlapping really beautifully, you can see that you get a lovely finish, like so. Now, hopefully, I can see some of you saying that it's stopping and starting. I think that's just because I didn't have my phone on Do Not Disturb, so I got a call. Um, I'm hoping it's now all okay. Um, if it has frozen, just shut down the video and find me again. <laughs> You'll have to load it back up. Um, if you lightly tap the wire after it's made with the, uh, with the hammer, it will harden the wire. Yeah, absolutely, Joe. Um, so I know... Um, 
There are some jewellery hammers out there. Um, I've actually worked with Linda Jones before. She's a fabulous wire artist. Um, she has a wire hammer. You can actually use an ordinary hammer if you put some sort of protector on it as well. Um, so what I actually like to do with these is I will squash it and flatten it with my flat nose pliers, um, which will give it that uh, toughened finish as well. So it's like we're squashing it all together. Uh, so just by tempering it ever so slightly with the hammer as well, it will give us a nice solid finish so you can see this is going to start to become the band um how many wires how many wires numbered please is 0.4 thicker or not but ah got you um so uh, a 0.4 millimeter wire is thicker than a 0.3. So it refers to the diameter and the thickness of the wire. So for example, if you have a one mil wire, that will, uh, that will be a one millimeter in diameter. So uh, going through beads and such like, if you know they've got a one mil hole, then um, that's going to fit through perfectly. With these, because I'm using 0.4, um, I know that three strands probably won't fit through these beads. Um, but when we get to the end and, and we start adding our beads on, I'm actually only going to use two wires through the very centre. So a 0.4 is thicker than a 0.3. Uh, I might have a 0.3 to hand. I find that 0.3 is fantastic for wire um, twisting. And for things like your trees, you can use a 0.3. I use 0.3 a lot for flowers because the thickness of it um, is absolutely perfect for moulding. So I am obviously uh, strengthening this by wrapping all three of mine together. And we'll get a really nice solid band that will hopefully be pretty scratch resistant as well. Because um, it's going to be at the back of my finger, obviously I want it to be nice and protected. I want there to be some nice strength there. And it looks really pretty, as you can see when you're wearing it. Uh, hi Angela, morning Sarah, is there a download for the rings as I can't find it on Facebook? Um, there isn't a download for this one, so what we started to do was to give you free PDFs, but um, to be honest, we're running out of designs. So Kitty and I are coming up with designs week by week, so I don't actually have this written up, but you'll be able to save this video and it will be saved on our website as well, um, so that hopefully you can watch it back as your tutorial. Um, if I do, if I end up doing these on telly, we'll do a little project sheet for it as well. We might even be able to kit some things together. Okay, so you can see I've got a good amount going on here. What I'm going to do is just size it up to my finger. So you can either use a ring mandrel. Um, I actually found that uh, my hand or my finger is the same width as a Sharpie pen. Um, so I've got like a permanent marker that I use on a whiteboard. I haven't got it to hand, um, but it's the same, <laughs> the same size as my rings. So if you end up finding things um, around the house, so um, a lot of the time you could use things like pens, you can use bottle lids. If you find a ring that fits you, just uh, put it on some sort of cylindrical shape and you would be able to use that uh, to mould around. But with these, I actually just do it uh, with my finger. So what I want to make sure is because I'm using five of my beads, I want to make sure that I have the whole front of my finger exposed because all of this is going to be taken up by my beads. Um, yeah, lots of you saying you've got the whammer hammer. It would be perfect to use for these. Absolutely perfect. Um, so I know that five of my beads are going to cover the front of my finger. Let's hold this up. So I've got my five here. So I would say I am probably done with my wrapping and we can start adding on the beads. I'm just going to add perhaps two or three more just to be sure because you want it to be ever so slightly bigger when we start wire wrapping the crystals on it will tighten it up and we're going to if I show you my rose gold one some of the wire wrapping on the edging is going to take away from some of the size of that ring as well okay so when we have a little look I've got my first few coils aren't that neat. So I'm going to undo just a few of those, which is where my tail was. Undo a little bit of those and I will take my flush cutters and cut in nice and tight, as close to my coils as I can get. Then I can use my flat nose pliers. And do you remember from Friday's video, we just give it a little pince around 
pincing movement, so just ever so slightly bringing that in and I'm rolling it around so that that will give me a lovely neat finish and you can see there I haven't got any sharp edges so that's perfect and I'm going to do the same on this side so my coiling is finished let's pop that there and pinch that as well make sure you've got no sharp edges these will actually be covered with wire in a minute as well but Okay, so that is our band. Now what you can do is actually squash these. So we were talking about strengthening the wire. So what you can do is then, I'm just gonna straighten these bits up because I'm gonna need those for wire wrapping in a minute. You're gonna take your flat nose pliers and just squash down some of these coils. And this will give you a flatter band. Now you don't need to, you can have it as a round coil but can you see by flattening it I'm just going to strengthen that up a little bit and you'll find um, you'll feel the difference in the strength of the wire as well because all of a sudden it goes from being quite flexible to a lot more rigid and sturdy um, which you want for the ring band also being flat of course it's going to give you a nice comfortable wear being flat against the skin all the way up to the top and just make sure that you still don't have any sharp edges. Okay, so this now is going to hold a shape beautifully. So you can see when I had it just as wrapped wire, um, it still looked nice, but you could actually see a few kinks in there. Now that I've strengthened this up by flattening it, which is exactly what you would do with the likes of your hammers and such like too, it's just going to give it that little bit more rigidity and a really nice finish so I'm just going to make sure and you'll see I'm just guiding it up all the way to the top lovely so that will be my ring base now I'm going to just mold that around my finger making sure that the curve is in the middle so you can see it's going to sit on both sides and that's going to give me that lovely ring base and we'll just mould that out so we've got that nice circle. And like I said, if you've got anything um, cylindrical, so um, I was using like the base of a Sharpie pen, um, a permanent marker, um, anything round in the home, like tops of wine bottles, things like that, you can mould it round if you're not too good at free forming. But as you can see, I've got a lovely little curve on there. Okay, so I'm going to add on my beads. I'm just going to take five. And remember, you get 100 beads on your strands. So um, the offer today is for um, the 4 mil round faceted. We've also got rondelles on there if you would like something a little bit different in shape as well. Um, you actually get... 10 strands, normally £15, down to £9.99. Don't forget to add your wire in there. That's £2.50 for eight metres. So like I said, when you cost this down, you've got 100 beads on a strand. So you're going to get 1,000 beads for under £10, which I think is amazing. So it does actually end up being a really nice, inexpensive make. So I'm now going to take, we've got our three main frame wires. So this is what we were wrapping around. I'm just going to take it so that I've got one to the left, one to the right, and my centerpiece. And we'll do the same on this side as well. Just make sure, can you see that I'm, I'm finding out where they are? You're not crossing them over. You want to get that really nice, neat finish. So I'm splitting them left and right and down the middle as they sit. Okay, so you'll end up with this. And then we're going to add on the beads. So I'm going to add all five onto one of my middle strands. Like so. Oh, Anne says she's just opened up a birthday card and it's a totally beads gift voucher. Yay! <laughs> what are you going to treat yourself to, Anne? I'm sure there's lots on your wish list. Oh, that's so sweet. What a nice thing to do for a birthday as well. If you know somebody loves their beading and jewellery and then you can get what you want. That's amazing. OK, so I'm now going to cross over with my second centre wire. So I'm going through all the beads that I've just added. And can you see now it's going to complete my ring. So when I pull these tightly. Like so. And if you don't have the strength in your fingers or you just need to neaten it up, hold your pliers, hold the wire with the pliers. And now you can see I've got all five in the middle. Don't worry about it not looking like a ring at the moment because we will actually um, make up uh, our shape in a moment once we once we get going. Um, 
Diane says, is it easy with rondelles? Um, yeah, it's it's um, it's the same, really. It's just going to give you a different shape. So with your round crystals, obviously these are faceted rounds, um, which gives you um, a, a round bead shape, but they're all multifaceted, which is where you're getting that lovely sparkle. A rondelle is just like a squished circle. So if you imagine one of these beads and it's um, more of an oval shape in the centre, so it's just like squashing it through in the middle. Hi Anita, first time watching. I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. Amazing. Hi, welcome. Yeah, we were saying at the beginning of the video, if any of you are watching for the first time, we know a lot of you have found us by mistake, really, and found us for the first time. Um, so welcome. Give us a little hello and let us know you're watching. Um, so we do these every day, um, Anita. We do them at 10 o'clock every day on the Totally Beads Facebook page. Make sure you give the page a little like and then you will get notifications of every time we go live. So today is wire wrapping. Um, I can't remember what Kitty's doing tomorrow. I'll have to have a look on the list in a minute. Okay, so we're going to secure these beads into place now using the centre wires that we have added our beads onto. Oh, thank you. Yeah, hope everyone is well and safe. Yeah, you too, Anita. It's mad, isn't it, that we're all over the world but going through exactly the same things at the moment. It's crazy. Um, so we're going to use these centre wires to actually wrap around. Oh, everyone's welcoming Anita. You've got a new beading family here, Anita. Um, it's really lovely. So if you've got any questions, we'll all try to answer and help each other out as well. I'll tell you guys about the Facebook groups in a minute as well. So I'm just using this centre wire that I wrapped, um, that I added my beads onto, and I am just wrapping it two, three times, actually more, probably like five, around here. And again, making sure you get those really nice, neat coils. So you can see I don't have very much wire. Again, if you don't have the strength in your fingers, use your pliers to wrap these around, okay? like so. And I'm not going to cut that off just yet because I will neaten it up as we go. I'm just going to give it a little squish just to make sure they're all super neat. Okay, so you can see my beads are secured on that side. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side as well. Let's ignore these left and rights for now. Oh, Marie saying welcome to the family. Oh, lovely. Oh, I think we've got somebody else as well, Joanne. Um, where's Joanne? Let me scroll back through. First time from Australia. Hi, morning, Joanne. My uncle and my auntie live in Australia. I was there for, oh, about a month, years and years and years ago when I was in my teens. Um, they lived in New South Wales at the time. Really, really beautiful. And I stayed in Sydney for a little while, which is amazing. And now I'm hoping you said Australia, not Austria. I'm not doing too well with my countries today, am I? Washington and Newcastle. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, yeah, so if you're watching for the first time, give us a little hello. Um, we're here every day at 10 o'clock at the moment. We've been doing this for 12 weeks now. So new tutorials every day. Margaret, hi from Bonnie, Scotland. Oh, all of my family are Scottish. Um, Margaret, I've still got some family up there. Um, beautiful part of the world. Miss it dearly. It's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, we've been doing this for 12 weeks, so new techniques every single day, which is really lovely. So um, most of the time we do a free PDF download, so you can have your tutorial as an education written sheet. Um, I've put the link in the description to the video, but we also offer amazing bundles for everything that we are using. Oh, is it Jan Janika? I hope I'm saying your name well. Um, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. Hi, guys. Good morning. Oh, I am loving seeing where you are all from. Um, so, yeah, we do amazing bundles on the website. Most of the things that we're making um, are ideal for beginners, um, but also teaching you new techniques all the way along as well so that we can try and get something out of lockdown. We're trying to perfect some of these skills. Okay, so now that I have wrapped on either side, Side. Now, I do not know how to pronounce your name. Maybe you can let me know. But watching from the first time from Finland. Wow, we are reaching all areas this morning. Hi, good morning. Um, maybe Elaria, 
I think is maybe how I pronounce your name. Um, let me know if I'm saying it right. Um, so many newbies, which is really lovely. Um, are you already beaders? Have you found us because you're in sort of beading groups and such like? I'm guessing we're sharing the videos a lot. So we're reaching out to new people, which is fantastic. And we do international shipping on the website. So um, you can obviously uh, join in on all the bundles as well, which is great. Um, okay, so these ones that I have wrapped with, I am going to take uh, down just as near to the coils as I can get. And remember, we're using those little pincer movements. Janika says, I pronounce your name perfectly. Oh, good. Um, oh, my mum's on here. She was saying she was born in Greenock, but lived in Creef, Perthshire, till we moved to England. Creef is just the most beautiful place. We used to go up um, every summer holiday. I mean, it must have taken us, I don't know, mum, what, seven hours to get up there? Um, I've got two younger sisters. They're twins. And we would cram into our car. We'd have the dog, mum, dad, me and the girls in the background. We'd have sort of pillows all around us. The dog would be in the footwell with my mum. Um, it was a long old journey, but we always knew when we were close because it was just the most beautiful entrance, um, which was really lovely. Um, and the dog always knew when we were getting close as well. Seven hours in the car and he used to start crying just as we would get close. So we always used to think he could probably smell my gran and granddad. You know how they pick up on those scents? Um, Kanitha, am I saying your name right? Yes, ma'am. Watching from California. <laughs> Hi, good morning. This is so amazing, guys. Thank you for all of the shares as well, because it's so lovely to see these videos growing um, and so lovely to hear that we are reaching all corners of the world, really. Um, Oh, Anne saying Finland's one of her favourite places. We've got so many of you guys watching. Where have we got? Australia, California, Finland, Malta. Where else have we had? Wales, Newcastle. Oh, amazing. I said it, I said it right. The, uh, the initial L is silent, red like an E. Amazing. Oh, hi, welcome. Okay, so we're just going to finish off the rest of this ring. I don't even know how long we've been doing it for, but it is a relatively quick make. And now what I'm going to do, this would be nice just as a ring on its own, and you could even cut down all of these. Oh, mum's saying my Uncle Colin is watching, so he's in Australia as well. Morning, Uncle Colin. Um, they live on an amazing... Now, I'm going to call it a farm now, Uncle Colin. They've got um, horses and lots of dogs, and my uncle has now managed to acquire a new pet chicken um, called Rambo. Uh, they rescued him. And this chicken loves cuddles. He, he um, shares the most amazing pictures with this chicken. It's hilarious. Um, so uh, the newest pet to the ranch that you've got going now. Um, lovely. Got people in Ipswich. Oh, Camille's originally from Hong Kong. So I'm going to count that one, Camille. <laughs> <laughs> We're super international today. Okay, so like I said, you could actually finish this ring off as it is and it would be really beautiful. But what I want to do is actually add more of a handmade finish to it. And um, this is where we're going to do the wire wrapping around the beads themselves. So as you can see, you can kind of see the spine of the wire through the center. I'm going to hide that a little bit and we're going to do some nice wire wrapping around the beads themselves. So what I'll do is take my far right wire and I'm going to place it around the bead and into the spine. And then I'm just going to push that through the body of the ring. And then I will move up to the next bead as well. So up to the next bead, into the spine, wrapping that around. Up to the next one. <laughs> Sean says he's from another planet. <laughs> Amazing. Aren't we all on a good day? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, so I'm just going to wrap this around each of the spines and you can see it's just giving it that lovely little twist on either side. Up and over. Oh, sorry, wobbling the frame. Up and over and around to the far side of the ring. Then I'm going to do it on the left as well. So we'll just turn that around and now take my left wire and again we'll go around the bead. I'm just going to encourage that with my finger to go around so that it will wrap around this bead here. Through, oh, we've got Angela from Sunderland, Sue from North Devon. We are reaching all points, aren't we? Um, up and around over this bead, around to the next. So we're just wrapping it around that spine and then this will give us that lovely 
finish on the other side of the bead. So over, wrapping it on that spine. If you find that some of them become a little bit too close. Oh, amazing. She says, I found you by chance and I really like your videos. Thank you so much. Not sure how we reached out to Finland, but with everybody sharing, um, it, it's phenomenal the amount of people that you can um, that you can actually meet along the way and have found us. So um, if you give our page a little like, um, you'll get notifications next time we're live. So we're live every day at 10 o'clock in the morning. So that's... Um, obviously our time, depending on where you are in the world. Um, but once we've actually uploaded it, um, it will stay on our page and you will be able to go back and see them at any point of the day. So we have amazing bundles that we'll put on the website relating to each of the... Um, each of the techniques that we're teaching so that if you need the materials and we do ship internationally, um, so no excluding any of our viewers, um, you'll be able to get hold of those as well. Obviously, it might just take a little bit longer for you to get it at the moment, but we're all going through it, aren't we? So it's all uh, understandable. Um, Anita says, may I ask what gauge the wire is? This is a 0.4 wire, 0.4 millimeters. So it is thin, but what I wanted to do is that what I found when I started doing these videos with you guys for wire wrapping, a lot of you haven't done it yet. So I wanted to start with a softer gauge wire because it is easier for you to use um, until you get used to working with wire, how it performs um, and the strength that you have in it as well. Um, so as you can see, I've now got wraps on either side of the beads and I'm just going to neaten and straighten them up a little bit. So I'm just going to use my fingers. You could use your pliers as well, but look at what finish it gives you from the side. It's really beautiful. And I'm just going to make sure that we can get that nice little finish on either side. And then where I have taken these uh, wires to the end of my ring, I'm just using my flat nose pliers because I don't have very much of the wire left. So I'm just using that to wrap around the outside. And again, to make sure that you have no sharp points, um, you're actually just gonna take those flat nose pliers and pinch that together. So just little movements like this as I'm wrapping up and around the wire. Debbie, can you show underneath the wire where it criss crosses over? Yeah, so what I'm doing is um, in between the beads, let me show you on something like this. In between the beads, it's crossing up and over and it's going over the center spine of the wire through the middle. So you're taking it around, wrapping it in between a bead and then it will go up and over the next one. So you can see it wraps underneath and gives you a little crisscross over and it will give you that nice little wrap up at the top as well. Um, what website... Please, could you send the link? Yes, yeah, Sue, so the link is actually in the description of the video, but I know Kitty's watching, so I'll ask her to put that up as well. Um, Dorothy says, brilliant, there's lots of us here with you. Do you know, guys, I have to try not to look at the numbers because I get stage fright. <laughs> Would you believe it? So I've been doing live TV for nearly 11 years now, but because we're in the studios, when I'm on Creating Craft TV, it's only me, the presenter, and obviously I've known them for 10 plus years, so I know them really well now, um, two cameramen, and then your producer and your director. So really, I only ever think four people watch me, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> but it is amazing to have so many of you on here. We have nearly 700 people this morning, which is just phenomenal. Good morning to you all, or good evening, depending on where you are. As we know, we are super international today. Okay, so I'm just going to finish off the ring. And um, <laughs> Doris says stage fright, never heard the like, not you. Doris, I do, believe it or not. Um, yeah, my anxiety is through the roof. <laughs> but I'm really glad that you were all enjoying it. And thank you so much for watching. It really is lovely to have you all here. And I don't get as frightened of you guys. I know you're all like my little beading family at the moment, aren't you? So Debbie, so that you can see where it's crossing over, I'm going to fold this over and then I'll turn it around so that you can see. So this is what we did on our one side. Now I'm going to repeat it on this side. So I'm taking my left strand. I'm going to place it around that first bead. And as I cross it under, let's move this over so you can see, it's just going to go into the middle of my first two beads, you can see that wire there, and then I will cross it 
up and over. So I'm making sure it comes in really nice and tight. And then I will repeat that on this bead as well. So around the bead, through the center of the two beads, bringing it over to this side, pulling it nice and tightly. And again, guys, if you don't have the strength in your hand, you can actually pull using your flat nose pliers. And again, up and around the bead. So I'm not actually taking it over the bead. I'm just going around that outside edge because I want my beads to be visible when I'm wearing it. And if you find that they come too up and over, you can obviously just... Um, Use your fingers, use your pliers to cross that over. And this is just going to give you a little bit more of a handmade finish, um, which I think is really important. It's a beautiful ring. And because I know I'm at the end now, I'm just going to use this wire to wrap around this little end point. Again, try and make your coils as neat as possible. So as I'm guiding it around the back, my thumb uses it to, um, I use my thumb to push it into the coils as I cross up and over, I'm using my index finger and my thumb to keep those coils really nice and tight. And again, don't cut your wire so that it's underneath because that's what's going to be on your ring, on your finger. You want it to be nice and smooth for that. So on the outside, just here, I'm going to take my flush cutters, cut it in so that it's on the outside band of my ring. And again, that nice little smooth movement using those flat nose pliers. And you can see then you've got no wire poking out at all. Okay, so that will then give you, and just feel it with your fingers. If there's any um, sharper edges, just keep on pincing it. So I'm just little tiny movements so that I don't scratch the wire and taking it up and over the ring itself. And that will give you a lovely, nice, neat finish. And then again, we've just got our right strand to do. So crossing it around over the back of that bead. And for some of you, this might be a bit too fussy. You might want um, to give it you know, a neater finish. You might want to only do two of your wraps. So obviously I've used four strands now to wrap this over. I just find that it encases the beads really nicely. And I do want people to know that I've made it. I want it to have that handmade finish. Um, and as you can see, it now kind of looks more like the beads are set in the ring as opposed to just being on a strand. So, um, Although it's giving it a nice handmade finish, it's also just making it look a little bit more professional. Now, can you see where my wire is actually crossing over up at the top here? I'm just going to use my pliers and ever so slightly squash that down. Because remember, we've got crystals in here, glass beads. So if I squash it too tightly, I would crack them, which I don't want. But I just want it to have a little bit of a flatter finish. And again, we've now just got this wire to wrap around the outside to finish it off. And I don't want that wire to finish down at the bottom. Um, Marie says it makes it look more personal. Yeah, absolutely. What I think is amazing is that if every one of you made one of these rings today following this design, do you know what? They would all look completely different. And I think that's the amazing thing about making your own jewellery. We will all put our own spin into it, our own taste. Of course, it's all going to be different sizes, different colours. Um, this one, I've just, I wear a lot of of black um, and these are like a, almost like a midnight blue bead remember we do have the bundle so you're going to get 10 strands of beads which means you're going to get a thousand beads for under 10 pounds they're 9.99 um normally 15 pounds but with any of your colours, you're going to be able to um, tailor make lots of different looks. And with rings like these, you can then mix and match it with your wires as well. So um, I'm going to wrap this around my finger just to finish off some of that sizing. Now, remember, because we were using a 0.4 millimeter wire, we strengthened it by coiling it, okay? So um, giving it that extra strength because we've got our three strands through the middle and for anybody who's just joining us, once we upload this onto the page, you'll be able to go back and see exactly how we made this coil wrapped band as well, which is fab. And then I'm just using my flat nose pliers. I'm just gonna neaten this up because where I've been holding it and, and shaping and, and coiling around, I'm just gonna make sure that I've got a really nice neat finish like so. 
And then hopefully, providing I haven't tightened it up too much, there we go, look, it's gonna fit me perfectly. Now, the first couple of times you wear it, it's just gonna get molded to your finger. I think that's really beautiful. You've got that lovely band around the back, which is going to give you a lovely smooth wear. And we've flattened it down a little bit as well. Now, because it is a thinner wire, obviously it might kink you know it might bend out of shape but this is a color protect wire it's color remain um so you can actually have um you can actually have an amazing finish on there um, and it's going to be comfortable for you to wear hopefully as well. Don't worry if it does actually start molding out of shape because all you need to do is when you take it off just be careful with it. Remember, it is costume jewellery. So things like washing your hand. I mean, to be fair, it's stayed perfect. Um, but you can obviously then just use your, fi uh, your fingers to actually run through and straighten that up. Remember, it is costume jewellery. These are wire. So remove them before you wash your hands. Look at those. Can you believe they cost me about 60 pence to make? I think it's um, phenomenal value for money. And remember, you're getting 100 beads on each of your strands. Now, what you can do, obviously, I have used five beads in here. So that is kind of the, the width of my finger, if you like. So I had five beads coming over. If you wanted to use just one bead, you could even use a, lar a larger bead. Sorry, I've got hiccups. You could actually use a larger bead. So um, this is more of a rondelle bead. If you put these on sideways, like so, you can actually use your wire to wrap all the way around. So you know how we were crisscrossing over? If you just took one of these, wrapped it around, you would get an amazing finish and it would look like a set stone. So have a little play. There are so many dif different things that you can do. Oh, Teresa says stack them. Teresa, that would be amazing. Lots of different colours. I love a jewellery stack. Um, and do you know what? you could even make so do you remember I'm just thinking off the cuff here do you remember a few weeks ago we made some adjustable bangles and I've just got this uh, here we used memory wire and we made adjustable bangles um, so this was a video maybe about a week and a half ago I think but what you could do is take your wire, now that you are learning how to wire wrap, you could take your wire, secure wire on either end of these, and you could wrap around the beads just like you have done with your ring. And that way you could have a matching set, which would be really lovely. Um, D says, could you use one mil wire? Would you need to use all three? Uh, so that would give you a much chunkier ring. Um, if you were going to use one mil wire, I would only use one mil around the back here. You wouldn't need to use three. Just use one mil as your base. Uh, the problem with using that is that your beads are going to be smaller. I don't think I would get a one mil wire through these small rondelles, uh, through the small rounds, sorry. These are my four mil faceted rounds I don't think you would get it through there but have a little play what you could do is use a one mil as your band and you could actually then um, hook that up and over and attach on a thinner wire which you could then add on through the center um, amazing we've got rid of a naughty boy from in here um, thank you kitty um, <laughs> um, apparently my uncle Colin says Rambo is watching Rambo, the famous chicken. Um, he's just amazing. I can't believe he actually has cuddles with the chicken. It's hilarious. Um, so funny. He the, the chicken actually sits and cuddles up to the dogs at night time, sleeps in their bed. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, amazing. Um, Ava says, love your tutorials, your voice, and even how you're greeting your mum. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Greetings from a grandma from Vienna. Amazing. Another place we've reached out. Fantastic. Thank you so much, guys. So these are the rings that we're making today. Now, I do feel a bit bad leaving you because I've got uh, nearly 800 people on here. Um, but um, I have finished my tutorial for today. Um, so do make sure you join us. Um, we actually have these videos every day at 10 o'clock. So I'm sorry if you have only just um, joined us. But hopefully, oh, I feel a bit naked now. I haven't got my ring on. 
to put my new one on. Um, we we do these every day, 10 o'clock every day on the Facebook um, lives on our Totally Beads Limited Facebook page. There's lots of links in here so that you can find us. Give the page a like because um, that way you'll actually get notifications next time we go live. But as I said, at the moment and for um, the rest of June, we are going to be doing these every day. Now, it's not something that we've done ordinarily. This is something that just came out of lockdown. We wanted to give you... Um, we know we normally run workshops and bead groups we wanted to give you something in the comfort of your home and from the comfort of our homes um so that we could still obviously get crafting together and i think you'll all agree we have the most amazing beading family that is now worldwide um and seeing everybody every day which is so lovely now it's kitty tomorrow morning um it's Kitty tomorrow morning. Yes, don't worry, the naughty man's gone. Um, so, um, Kitty tomorrow morning. Kitty, what are you doing tomorrow morning? Um, for those of you who don't know, Kitty and Simon are the owners of uh, Totally Beads. Simon's the money man. He's the one who puts all the amazing bundles together for us um, with everything that we've got going. Um, Kitty has been making jewellery. I think you've been doing it for about 15 years, haven't you, Kitty? Um... Oh, tomorrow is modified right angle weave. So tomorrow is going to be more of a stitched based uh, technique, um, which is really beautiful. Even if you haven't been beading very long, have a little go, have a look at Kitty's tutorial tomorrow. Um, it's a lot simpler than you think, and it might just be another skill to add into your arsenal of jewellery making techniques. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I have absolutely loved speaking to you all this morning. Um, it's been amazing. Do, if you make the rings, do tag me in your pictures. Um, you can okay yes yeah, so the group um if you go onto the totally beads facebook page which is where you are now head over to the main page if you scroll across there's actually a section called groups and in there we have um totally handmade by totally beads and there all of we have over a thousand people in there so all you hundreds that have just joined us and um hundreds that join us every day pop in there and you will find all the groups all these ladies and gents that have been watching today You'll actually see everyone making their own techniques, um, their, their takes on mine and Kitty's designs. Um, it's a beautiful place just for a bit of inspiration, sharing your pictures, everybody saying hello to each other, much like we do here. Um, lots of you saying you've loved the rings today. Thank you so much. I've loved making them. They are really, as you know, I love my rings. Um, so doing something a bit different for you has been really fantastic. Um, oh, Lucy says, for some reason, I can't post pictures in the group at the moment. Facebook is being silly. Do you know what the amount of of traffic that we have had Lucy it has gone a little bit phenomenal um so bear with it I think Facebook has been having a bit of trouble but as we all know we're all on there all the time aren't we um could we have some more chain mail uh, pretty please while well, seeing says you are so nicely I will add it onto my list we've got the rest of June to plan so I will make sure I do some more chain mail I have been dying actually to finish a Byzantine or Byzantine, depending on how you say it, um, bracelet. I probably started it, oh gosh, I don't know, beginning of the year. I haven't even finished it, so maybe I'll do that with you. We can all do it together. Um, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to all the new people. Don't forget to um, like the page and you'll get notifications of each of our um, events that we have going every day. You'll see the techniques beforehand. Head over to the Facebook page, um, sorry, onto the website and the Facebook tutorial section. There you'll be able to see all the bundles, the materials that we use for each ones so hopefully you'll be able to raid your crafty cupboards there's a lot of things you'll probably have in the stash as well as unique components that we um that we use in our designs as well um oh teresa cubic right angle i am on that one um i've been asking kitty if i can do that one for quite a while i love that technique and it's quite hard for people to master sometimes unless you can actually see it being done so cubic right angle weave is on my list um and and Dorothy, enjoy your birthdays. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, a, a very warm welcome and thank you to everyone who's joined us from across the world today as well. Hopefully we will see you again tomorrow. It'll be Kitty tomorrow and I think I'm on Tuesday. Um, so I'd love to see you again then as well. Thank you everybody. Take care. Go and make your rings. Cheer up a, a bit of a, a dull and dismal day. Um, and uh, hopefully I will see you all soon. Take care everybody. Stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock.